is the day. Man, check it out, man. We're going to just be simulating the career of Cash Nasty today, bro. I mean, I'm not even going to cap you down, bro. Check it out. This is the actual scan of Cash Nasty. Y'all can tell because we got the, uh, you know, we got the little hair piece in here, man. You know what I'm talking about? The little patch right there. And uh, we got all the tattoos and uh, and the muscular physique of Cash Nasty. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, he ain't f***ing with me, but you know <laughs> Nah, let me tell you, because, you know, Cash like to pull up on people. Me by trying to pull up on me and play a basketball game. And I will accept, but... You know what I'm talking about? It's just gonna be two people, just two bodies. Just, we just gonna be two big, two big ass dudes just, just playing defense. So you might as well just get me on your team, Cash. If you see the video, man, holler at your boy, man. I'm trying to run 6'4, 230. Uh, let's get that thing popping. Anyway, um, pretty much as far as the skill set, he is pretty much a clone of Pat Bev with a few minor, just a few minor, uh, you know, upgrades and stuff like that, man. But, you know we gotta put him on the same team as Pat Bell because Pat Bell now plays for the Lakers. And it's not that Pat Bell right there. Uh, because of the, because this is the power of the PC, we got this version of Pat Bell, man. So we got Pat Bell on the team twice right there. Hopefully they're gonna be out there locking up the perimeter and getting busy right there, man. So, um, let's just see how it goes. As usual, we're gonna simulate to the All-Star game and then we're just gonna see how things go, uh, from there but before we get started man make sure y'all like the video comment cash at the end of your comment because it's gonna do two things for y'all number one you'll be entered to win a $50 uh, $50 in VC $50 in cash app or a video game of your choice the extra regular ass edition at the end of this week every single Friday we do that also at the end of the month if we can average 8k views last month we averaged 8.5 I was shooting for 10 we didn't fall we, we, we didn't get it but this month we're gonna try to average eight because we averaged 8.5 last month we should be able to hit eight this month and uh if we can average those 8k views we're gonna be giving away a next gen console whether it be an xbox or playstation or i'm gonna give away a laptop or i'm gonna give away 500 dollars. it'll be up to you what you choose number three the bots are down there man make sure y'all still clear those bots i'm not putting my phone number down there i'm not um i'm not on telegram i'm on instagram twitter and black planet and uh, that's it, bro. So that's that's all we got, man. So Cash, uh, back to the game. Cash is not in the Rising Stars Challenge, and he did not make the All-Star game. So, you know, hey, that's where we at with it. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to just simulate through the regular season, and I'll see you guys on the other side. And at the end of the first season, y'all check this out. Whoop! Hey, check it out, boy. At the end of the season, once again, Luka Donis has a reef. Ridiculous season, uh, a 40 point triple double. I'm not even going, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing this, bro. Keegan Murray is the rookie of the year. Cole Anthony is the sixth man of the year. Giannis Antetokounmpo is the defensive player of the year. And Alperin Sing Singen is the, uh, is the most valuable player. I mean, the most improved player. JB Bickerstaff, coach of the year. Let's see if the Lakers made the playoffs. And the Lakers did not make the playoffs. Oh, yeah, they didn't make the playoffs. They made the playoffs, and they are the five seed this year going against the Memphis Grizzlies. So let's just go and see how this plays out. Game one, Memphis. Game two, Memphis. Game three, Lakers. Game four, Lakers. Game five, Memphis. And game five, I mean, game six goes to the Memphis Grizzlies, man. So let's just simulate the rest of the playoffs. And uh, we're going to see what we get. And the Philadelphia 76ers win the NBA title this year, man. Joel in behind Joel and B, 30 points, 15 rebounds, and four assists a game, man. Two blocks, almost three blocks, and, and a couple of steals. Hey, that's an awesome stat line for that. They always have monster stat lines with that, man. But, hey, it is what it is. We're going to next season. We're going to see y'all on the other side. So in year two, it was seen that LeBron James has retired. But are they trying to supplant Cash Nasty? Kyrie? Bro, y'all putting Kyrie there? Ka hey, Cash Nasty has evolved, though. He's gone from an 84 up to an 87. You see Kyrie is an 88. So maybe, look, maybe he's going to, maybe Cash going to have a better season this year or whatever. Um, We don't know. But, again, let's go to the, uh, we're going to go to the All-Star break, see if Cash is an All-Star, and I'm going to see y'all in one sec. And checking the Rising Star Challenge, did Cash Nasty make it? Hey, he's in the rising star challenge, man. Hey, let's see what let's see what we got right here. You know what I'm talking about? Let's get out here and get a little work in. Them boys got women y'all in the game, man, in the rising star challenge. Jim, I one thing you know about Cash Nasty. He gonna get in them gym shorts. Oh yeah! Cash gonna get in them gym shorts! Oh, look at the hustle by Cash! 
Again, Cash get, well, Cash say I'm gonna get in them gym shorts 94 feet, man. Cash, see if he can bully him. Let's bully him, Cash. And one, let's go, Cash. Cash with a, oh, Cash with the cross. And one lane, filet, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And getting them gym shorts end to end. Look at him. Ow! That ain't no foul! That ain't no foul! Oh yeah, Cash! Buy him one more time! You better foul him! Man, I'm gonna have to call some type of isolation or something like that. Cause I I, I just they just they just don't want to see my boy shine, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to see what I can get done out here, bro. But they they hating. They hating a little bit. They cash defending 94 feet, man. He don't even want the ball no more! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Cash always on the defense. Get out of the way! Cash going down Broadway, laying up. All right! Cash to the rim! Oh, baby! I did not expect that. I am not gonna lie to y'all. Cash getting in the gym shorts, 94 feet. I need it. I need that. Lay right. Oh my God! Cash soaring to the rim. Cash is dog tired. Oh my God! One more time, guys. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. We need a T.O., baby. Get in there. Cash with the assist. Trades up. Splash down. Cash is not selfish. He's out here. He's a floor general, baby. Let's go. Cash with the steal. Oh, yeah. Test that layup out right. Bro, they watch Cash dunking the ball. And uh, that's about enough of that game, man. Let's just roll on and uh, get the rest of the season popping. And as to be expected with LeBron James' retirement, man, the Lakers go with an abysmal 27 and 55 record. Uh, you got Luka Doncic, another monster MVP season. Victor Wembanyama, the play, uh, the rookie of the year. John Wall is the uh, sixth man of the year. Giannis Antetokounmpo, uh, defensive player of the year. Most improved player of the year, Shaden Sharp. And J.D. Bickerstaff is the coach of the year. Um. And now we're just gonna go into the playoffs, and obviously, like we said, the, the, the Lakers did not make the playoffs at all with abysmal record. So we're just gonna keep on pushing. And the Pelicans win the championship in this year, man. I can't believe that, bro. I gotta go check on the heels of CJ, man. So from year one to year two, you see some clear progression here. Cash has gone from an 84 overall to an 88 overall, man. Uh, he, he went from 7.5 to 9.6 points a game, five rebounds, seven assists, really passing the ball, a steal, and a block per game, man. So we're just going to see how he fares in year three. And in year three, what a fucking surprise. Another damn near 40-point triple-double by Luka Doncic to assert his dominance and continue to hold his on the league, man. The Lakers have a disastrous season, 18 and 64. Uh, Trey Bryan is the uh, rookie of the year. Anthony Simmons, sixth man of the year. Giannis Antetokounmpo, defensive player of the year. N N Nikola Jovic, not Jokic, Jovic, is the uh, most improved player of the year. Willie Green, coach of the year. Expected them to have some down, a down season or so after dealing with the, with the uh, retirement of LeBron. But bro, two in a row? Hopefully they'll be able to write it in next season, but we're just gonna simulate through the playoffs and see what we get. And the Grizzly win the championship on the heels of Ja Morant, 38 points, five rebounds, 12 assists per game and a steal, bro. I can't even get mad at it, man. On to the next season. Going into year number four, man, it seems like Kyrie might be the lead dog and Cash is right behind him. He's back up to an 88, still building that potential and stuff like that. But this is what the team is looking like. Um, bro, I just, I really don't see much improvement. I think they're going to get routed again. But hey, there's only one way to find out. Simulate the regular season, and I'm going to see y'all on the other side. And now something different. Finally, Ja Morant is the most valuable player. Uh, 33.7 rebounds, 9 assists. Looking real good. Boomer Tool is the rookie of the year. We got Tyrone Jones as the sixth man of the year. Giannis Antetokounmpo continuing to hold his nuts on the league as the defensive player of the year. Dwayne Blunt is the most improved player. And Dwayne Casey is the coach of the year. Now, the Lakers once again had a disastrous season of 28 and 54. So it goes without saying that they missed the playoffs yet again. So now we're just gonna simulate through the playoffs and see what it is that we get. And the Toronto Raptors win the title this year on the heels of Scotty Barnes, 27 points, eight rebounds, and three assists per game. 
on to the next season. Going into year number five, Cash Nasty has really regressed, man. He was he was the lead dog, or up there at least with Kyrie. He goes from an 84, I mean an 88 to an 84, man. Um, this team, I mean, I guess they picked up Roberto Cortez on a two-way contract, but again, it just ain't looking good for these guys, bro. We're gonna simulate through the regular season once again, and uh, let's just see what we get. It seems like we're back to normal where Luka Dunnitz, he's slowing down a little bit, but a 32-point triple-double this year, bro. I can't even I can't even say too much about it. Willis Frazier, rookie of the year, Dylan Mitchell, aka Shammy Wells. That looks, that looks, that looks really close to Shammy Wells. I ain't gonna lie to y'all though, but hey, he said he gets buckets. Hey, that's what it is. Chet Holmgren, defensive player of the year. Uh, Edmund Marion is the most improved player of the year, and Mark Diagonal is uh, the the coach of the year. And so the Lakers make it through the play-in, and they're gonna be playing New Orleans this season. Uh, you know what we're gonna do, man. We're just gonna simulate this joint and see what we can get. Uh, New Orleans takes game one. New Orleans takes game two. New uh, Lakers take game three. New Orleans takes game four. And the Lakers have been eliminated. Now we're just gonna go on through the rest of the playoffs. And the Minnesota Timberwolves win the title there. And like I said, that's just about what we expected, man. Obviously, Anthony Edwards was gonna be the person that led them to the title, bro, with uh, 28 points, four rebounds, and six assists per game, and a steal. I mean, he's doing his thing, he's hooping. We at the halfway point, and uh, in a second, we're gonna check on Cash. Going into year six, Cash is coming off of one of his best seasons ever. Nine points, five rebounds, nine assists per game, two steals per game, and a block, man. Um, But it just ain't looking good for the Lakers as far as their whole roster goes, man. Checking out the roster, I mean, you got, you got Cash, you got Roberto Cortez, he's an 86. You got Kyrie starting to regress. Anthony Davis is still hanging around. He's 34 years old, which is crazy to think that um, it's crazy to think that that he's only 34 and we're six seasons into this simulation. Uh, Nikola Jovic is now on the Lakers, so we're gonna see what he does. And so with a with a slightly improved roster, hopefully the Lakers will be able to do something. But we're gonna see y'all in one second. And of course, once again, Luka Doncic, another 32 point triple double as the most valuable player. Rex Long, boy, that sounds like a porn name. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Rookie of the year, like Byron. Uh, Homer Ray, six man of the year. Giannis Antetokounmpo is the defensive player of the year. Ty Ty Washington, most improved player. And Mark Diagonal, 72 and 10, one of the greatest seasons of all time. Can we not get him on the team? I mean, my Jesus. And the Oklahoma City Thunder win the title on the back of Willis Frazier. 25.7 assists and three steals a game, four rebounds. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. You're not gonna go too far going 23 and 50 or, or 32 and 50. But hey, maybe they can get this chemistry up. It looks like everything is trending in the right direction. And I guess we will see what happens right after this. Going into year seven, Cash has regressed terribly. I mean, he's down to 82, six points, five rebounds, seven assists per game, 32% uh, from the field and 28% from three. Man, this is getting bad, bro. Um, we're gonna go through the regular season. Hopefully we can we can pick it up a little bit. Maybe they'll play a little bit better, but it ain't looking good. And finally, some change. Willis Frazier is the most valuable player. Mirko, I'm not even gonna try to say his name, is the rookie of the year, Charles. Chaldwell is the sixth man of the year. Giannis Antetokounmpo is now a Hornet, and he is our defensive player of the year. Lou Morrison, most improved player of the year. Mark, thinking out. Bro, I don't even know who this character is, bro, but I mean, the Lakers, 31 and 51. Uh, obviously, they once again have missed the playoffs. Uh, it's, it, this is getting bad, bro. Like, we just gonna simulate the playoffs, and I'll see y'all in a sec. And the Oklahoma City Thunder once again win on the on the on the back of Willis Frazier, 32 points a game, seven rebounds, five assists, two steals, and a block. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what's up with the Lakers, man. We gonna have to go over there and check that out because after LeBron left, I mean they just went straight to hell. I I, I would expect them to not be the greatest, but. Um, they ain't have to do this bad, bro. We're gonna see in a second what's going on. Going into year eight, man. Cash with another subpar season. It's just six, six point seven assists, uh, three rebounds, man. It's like the numbers are falling off. But after LeBron left, it just seems like the Lakers just. I guess LeBron left, and he took the GM 
and he took the best player on the team with him. Like they haven't had any chemistry since he left, and nothing really has been going right for him. We going into season eight, and I'll see y'all at the end of the season, and we'll talk about it. And no surprise here, Willis Frazier is the most valuable player. Uh, we got Tyrone Terry as the rookie of the year, Ryan Cross, six man of the year, Evan Mobley, defensive player of the year. I definitely see that coming. Tim Wood, another four star name, and uh, it's a. Uh, most value of uh, is the most improved player in Mark Dagonal. Bro, who is he coaching, bro? And the OKC Thunder behind Willis Frazier once again win the title. Like, the numbers that they're putting up now, they kind of pedestrian, bro. I don't know. Going into season nine, it can't be good, but the Lakers are going to have to do something, man. 36 and 46 ain't going to cut it. It could be the same, the team chemistry. Maybe we need to get another coach, but I got to stay, I got to stay tamper free in these joints, bro. I can't get involved. All I can do is just is just sim the game. Year rating cash has once again regressed, man. I don't know if it's him or if it is if it's the uh year eight and cash has regressed yet again. I don't know if it's him or if it's the the organization, bro. Like they don't they just seem to not have much around them. I mean, we got we got Felipe Gomez and uh Roberto Cortez, bro. Like that's really that's really it. Ain't too much talent around him. It just is what it is. We're going to simulate through this regular season, and hopefully it's going to get better. But if they can't get their chemistry up, I just don't see anything good happening. And this seems to be a common theme, man. Once somebody gets a hold on that MVP, they don't want to let it go. Willis Frazier, once again, the MVP. For, if you can be the MVP with 14 points, I'm sorry. The league is just going to shit. I'm sorry, bro. Josh Paul is the rookie of the year, not to be confused with Jake Paul. Cravion Smith, six man of the year. Evan Mobley, defensive player of the year with these pedestrian ass numbers. I mean, like I said, bro, and Joe Jackson, we're not even gonna make no jokes, man. Is the most improved player of the year, and Mark Dagonault, once again. And the Lakers get eliminated, bro. Bro, what is going on here? Hey, we just gonna, how you get eliminated and you was the two seed against Memphis, bro. And I oh, don't know, man. Let's see. Let's, let's just go. Let's just go ahead. And once again, the OKC Thunder win. And it's, bro, look at these pedestrian ass numbers that he's putting up, though. 15 points is enough to win finals MVP? In what fucking world is this? Bro, I, I don't understand. Like I said, the NBA, this version of the NBA, it just, it just ain't, it just ain't there, bro. Going into year number 10, Cash had his worst year ever. 2.8 points, 1.9 rebounds. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be real with y'all, man. I'm calling bullshit on this simulation, bro. Like, there's no way that the Lakers get this bad after LeBron leaves. I'm just, I'm just calling bullshit on the whole thing, man. But, I mean, I understand it. But, I mean, I, bro, I, I don't know, man. Anyway, year number 10, maybe we need a new coach or something like that, bro. All right, so with that, we have clean house in this bitch. I'm tired of this, bro. Look at this. All right, so look, this is what we got. We we fired everybody. We just cleaned the whole house. And so we got Paris Mullen. We got a new assistant GM. We got a new head coach as in, uh, in DeMar DeRozan. And we got Nick Van Exel as the assistant coach. Head scout, Daryl Crawford. And then we got a new trainer, Gregory Peterson. So we're going to see if that does anything for the team. Hopefully it does. Cash can have a good hoorah last season, but I, bro, I, I don't know if this team is, is even savable at this point, man. Uh, let's just see what we got. And at the end of the season, we had a we had a much better season, man. But it's just it's about the same thing. Willis Frazier once again. Morris Stout is the uh, is the rookie of the year. Daryl Bullock, six man of the year. Evan Mobley with these pedestrian fucking numbers, man. Like what is this most valuable player? Most most improved player. Damian Ward and Cash can't even do nothing and Money Williams is the fucking coach of the year, bro. Like this this is crazy, bro. Look, here we go, man. Did the Lakers even make it to the playoffs? They did, they're the three seeds. So hey, it is what it is. This is Cash's last hurrah. Can we get this done? Lakers take game one. Houston takes game two. Houston takes game three. Lakers take game four. Lakers take game five. And the Lakers move on to the next round. Lakers versus San Antonio. Let's see what we got. Lakers take game one. Lakers take game two. Ooh, let me find out. Lakers take game three. And the Lakers sweep the San Antonio Spurs. Oh my Lord. Lakers versus OKC, man. Let's see what we got. OKC takes game one. Lakers take game two, okay. Lakers take game three. Lakers take game four. OKC takes game five. 
the Lakers take game six with that with the change to the staff. The Lakers are now in the NBA Finals and cash is last year in the league. Lakers take game one. Lakers take game two. Lakers take game three. All right, so Bucks take game four. All right, we're going to simulate with game cast. It's looking close. Looking close down the stretch. Three minutes to go. I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm jumping in with two minutes to go. I'm jumping in. Cash is going to get his title right now. Cash going to the rim. Lay, you better foul Cash. Look at the look of determination on his face. Here's the first one. Let's tie the game, Cash. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. We always got to go against Jalen Brown, bro. No, no, no. Cash is here. Cash is here. Get the corner. Pass. There you go. Right. Good pass, Cash. They try to double team you and keep you from doing your thing, but we will not be denied. We won't be neglected. We won't be denied. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Great defense, Cash. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Cash with another pass. Lay for lay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Cash locking him up. Cash locking him up. Will he be? Hey, he set a screen. And Cash. And Cash will dribble the clock out. Cash Nasty gets his NBA title. Do you believe in miracles? Give me some. Matter of fact, give me some till you get tired, my boy. Give me some. After enduring the worst fucking career ever it, it possible, Cash Nasty defies all odds and makes it to the NBA Finals and gets himself a ring. Look at Cash up there. Is he too hype? He's not just hype. He's too hype right now. That's what I'm talking about, Cash. Post all my for the for the homies, man. Look at DeMar DeRozan in his rookie years as a head coach with Nick Van Exel getting it done. What a move by the GM J Easy at the end of the season. We needed some new blood. We fired the whole fing staff. Everybody, get the fuck out. We clean house. And this is what happens. I like to thank, I like to thank my decisions because they me. And the Lakers win. With Felipe Gomez, 15 points, three rebounds, and one assist, the most pedestrian fing stat line for an NBA type champion. But hey, it is what it is. And with all that being said, here we are. Face to face, a couple of silver spoons. Open your eyes with two of a kind. Making, hey, y'all don't know nothing about that, man. Hey. And with 10 seasons under his belt, Cash Nasty coming off his worst season ever, shows his floor general prowess, 2.3 points a game, 1.5 points a game, four assists a game, but he led them to an NBA title, and that's all that matters. Let's look at these career awards that he got, man. Look, it ain't like Doc, but it is what it is. NBA champion, 2023 of 2032. Can't beat that, man. If you got one of those on your resume, you all there. First team all, all defense, 24, 25, 27, 29. Uh, second team all defense, 2023. 20, and second team all rookie. Man, that is not a bad career for Cash Nasty. I wish that he would have had some better teammates, better coaching, better all this stuff, man. But hey, it is what it is, man. 10 seasons, he got his ring in season number 10. I can't do nothing else. You couldn't have wrote it better, and I promise y'all I did not rig this joint, man, because, hey, I'm just as surprised as y'all are, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Comment cash at the end of your comment for your chance to win $50 on Xbox, a PlayStation 5, or $500, or a laptop, man. That's all you got to do. Like the video. Comment cash down below, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. That's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Temple. Gosh,